So it's just a great honor to be the MLA for New Maryland Summary West and to be here as well. Great to see uh, my colleagues, uh, Sherry Wilson, and of course my colleague, but my brother, uh, my twin brother, Jody Carr, for being here as well. So thank you to both of you for being here, our education minister. Well, it's a pleasure uh, to be here. Um, it's also a pleasure as well. Uh, I was on the organizing committee uh, for our premiers, our first ever premiers provincial prayer breakfast. Many of you were there. It was held last November, and it was just an extraordinary success. Monty Lewis uh, actually helped advise, uh, and, and Richard Wright, who was here as well, helped us for that. It was just an extraordinary success. It was first ever. And uh, this November uh, will be uh, the uh, second annual prayer for premier's provincial prayer breakfast. And then a lot of people have said that they've been praying for many, many years that, that we have a premier that uh, prays, not only prays for our province, but publicly prays for our province as well. So it's just an honor to be a part of the team. The premier David Oliver who prays for us. I'll try to be as brief as possible, but I'm just so pleased to be here for this uh, special presentation I would like to make, and I'm just honored to be uh, uh, Reverend Monty Lewis's member of the Legislative Assembly uh, for New Maryland Summary West. My wife Cheryl and I, we became, uh, have become great friends with Monty and Linda and his family, and of course, uh, big supporters of Bridges of Canada. The first time I met Monty was in 2007, and it was before I became an MLA, I actually lost once already, uh, in 2006, but it was 2007, right here uh, at the Fredericton Inn, I was given tickets to a Bridges of Canada banquet. I couldn't quite afford them, but there were tickets being given away uh, to see George Saval, uh, and the tickets were given by then MLA, and now Senator Percy Mockler. Percy Mockler, former public safety minister in New Brunswick, was a huge supporter, and that actually was when my brother Jody first met Monty Lewis, was when George Saval, I think prior to that, not that night in 2007, but prior to that, met Monty Lewis through the Ormark High School. George Savello had come to uh, speak at the school. But anyway, Percy Walker was a huge supporter. He couldn't go to the dinner, so I was able to go, and Cheryl. And that's when we first met Monty Lewis, and we had talked about it and, and discussed it and wanted to meet, meet Monty, and we were able to meet him that night. So the next time well, I met Monty was in his office, uh, and I was a candidate, again, a candidate but it was in the by-election in 2008. Didn't realize it until I was in the middle of the campaign. Actually, it was Percy Mockler who told me that Monty Lewis is a constituent, so we have to go down and meet Reverend Monty Lewis. So he arranged a meeting, and uh, Senator Mockler brought me to meet Monty, and Monty prayed, and actually prophesied over me as well. I won that election by a mere 200 votes, and we have been great friends ever since. <laughs> also led me to an even stronger relationship to the Lord, and it's a gift that I'll always cherish. Um, so thank you very much, Monty, for that. But most people know the Monty Lewis story, especially from his book, The Caper, and he has quite an inspirational story. He has helped thousands of people and, and families, saved and restored lives, souls, and families. He's helped the most vulnerable in society. He gives hope to families, and he's also breaking the cycle of poverty and crime with their children. He's helped men and women in prison. Uh, he has a food bank for Bridges of Canada, a kids camp that we're holding the fundraiser for tonight, a book ministry, uh, Christmas for Kids campaign, and a prayer line as well. One of the uh, few 24-hour prayer lines, I believe, in Atlantic Canada. And 10 years ago, Reverend Monty Lewis was presented with the Queen's Golden Ju Jubilee Medal. That was 10 years ago to celebrate 50 years of the reign by Queen Elizabeth. And that book will be released in uh, June 6th on 100 Huntley Street. And uh, he writes in that book um, about receiving the uh, Queen's Golden Jubilee Medal and also receiving the first ever Public Safety of Canada Award. And uh, this is just a little excerpt of what he had, uh, what, he's, what he's written. After receiving the first ever Public Safety of Canada Award, he wrote, The whole evening represented a wonderful fulfillment of prophecy God had spoken many years earlier. A prophecy that said I would be recognized by people in high places for the work God was doing in and through me. Shortly after that, in 2002, I received the Queen's Medallion Jubilee Award. 
at another event. It's important to state I did not seek these honors. I didn't even know that they existed, but when they came, I recognized they were the fulfillment of prophetic words spoken over me many years before. Words that said I would make a difference in the nations of the world and specifically in the nation of Canada. That's why I received the Queen's Golden Jubilee Medallion Award. So that was just what Monty had written in his, in his upcoming book about receiving that award 10 years ago. Well, this year, 60,000 Canadians out of the 30 million, 60,000 Canadians will be honored with the Queen's Diamond Jubilee Medal. The Queen Elizabeth Diamond Jubilee Medal is a commemorative medal that was created to mark 2012 celebrations of the 60th anniversary of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II accession to the throne as Queen of Canada. Queen Elizabeth II Diamond Jubilee Medal is a tangible way for Canada to honor Her Majesty for her service to this country, and at the same time it serves to honor significant contributions and achievements by Canadians. So 60,000 deserving Canadians will be recognized. It's one thing, of course, to be honored and awarded with one Queen's Jubilee Medal, but quite something to have two, and I would say it would be quite rare. Not many Canadians would have two, I would, I would dare say. So tonight I'm pleased and I'm honored, ten years later after receiving his first one, to present to Reverend Monty Lewis with the Queen's Diamond Jubilee Medallion Award. And before I get to yes. Education Minister to present that, but before I do that, I want to read what was on the nomination form, and this would have been submitted to Ottawa, and uh, it's part of Monty's uh, biography, but it's just, it's a great part of the biography, it's just telling of his contribution, and his story of where he came from, it gives hope, because Monty Lewis can overcome those challenges, and, and every Canadian can overcome challenges through God. The Monty Lewis story, <laughs> The Monty Lewis story, and this is what was written on, that I would put on the nomination form. The Monty Lewis story is a dynamic testimony of the miraculous power of Jesus Christ. While lying naked, broken, and hopeless, in a solitary confinement cell in London, Ontario, Monty prayed a prayer of desperation. To his absolute amazement, God answered that prayer and touched him with his supernatural power. After spending years in and out of jails, detention centers, prisons, and mental institutions, his life of crime and drug abuse was totally transformed. And as you hear his message of victory and hope, God will powerfully touch you as well. Today as a free man, Monty serves as the chaplain advisor and provincial coordinator for the Department of Public Safety for the province of New Brunswick. He is the director of Fender of Bridges of Canada, a nonprofit organization that works with those involved in the criminal justice system, as well as the founder of Barnum Christian Camp for inmate families, ex offenders, and children from less fortunate families. He is an international speaker and has appeared as a guest on programs such as 100 Huntley Street, The 700 Club, It's a New Day, and other media programs. His life story has been published in the book entitled The Caper has been distributed internationally. And that was what was written on the uh, nomination form, which is uh, just outstanding to be able to present that. And soon to add to the biography is the author of a second book called When God, God Still Speaks. So I'd ask uh, my brother, the Honorable Jody Carr, the Ed Minister of Education and Early Childhood Development, to come forward and help me present to Reverend Monty Lewis the Queen's Diamond Jubilee Medallion Award. Ladies and gentlemen, Reverend Monty Lewis. 